He's Port! Airport! He's Port! Airport! He's Port! Airport! He's Port! Airport! The Maritime Union of Australia says it was about three weeks ago that Hutchison first raised discussions about the future of workers within the organisation. But the union says at that point Hutchison didn't indicate uh, how many redundancies would be made or when, and the, the only other communication since then was this email that was sent last night. I spoke to uh, one of the representatives from the union also. It can only be described by uh, the union as nothing short of disgusting. Uh, an employer decided uh, in the dark of night to terminate half the workforce via email. Now, Hutchison, in the letter to workers, said that uh, it would meet with individual workers next week. A, a number of managers will be available for those meetings. A media representative uh, advised me that she would send out a statement uh, from the company, but we are yet to see that statement. This afternoon, Hutchison appeared at the Fair Work Commission asking for an order to stop the picketing. The Maritime Union immediately made a counterclaim trying to prevent the job losses. Deborah Rice, ABC News, Sydney. The Fair Work Commission has ordered striking port workers to stop industrial action after about 100 were sacked in Sydney and Brisbane. Hutchison Ports advised 97 workers that they were being made redundant by email overnight. Earlier today, workers still rostered on joined their sacked colleagues on a picket line outside the Port Botany Terminal. An angry crowd confronted security guards at Hutchison this morning. Police had to move in to keep the two sides apart. I think what's happened today is unethical, it's immoral and it's cowardly.